I'm Stephen Axton and I'm a fungi photographer and this is Nightcap National Park in the far north coast of New South Wales. As you can see a fire has been through here. The fire here was called the Mount Nardi fire. This is what's called the black zone which is where the fire has been through actively. So you might ask what is a fungi photographer doing in a burnt out forest. There can be no fungi here, surely. But, strangely enough, one of the first things to recover after a fire is the fungus. This pyrophyllus or fire loving fungus is an orange pyronema species and it's spreading across the ground like a soft crust on the surface. These fungi come up a week or two after the fire and this one is growing where the fire was at its hottest, along the ash bed of a burnt log. And it's already sporing. It's quite interesting because it tends to hold the soil together and each place we find it, the soil seems to be wetter. So if I dig some of this fungus up here, you can see that it's holding the soil together at the top. And down below, it actually feels reasonably moist. So it could be that the fungus is just occupying the moist areas, which is possible, or it's locking the moisture into the surface. So it's in effect making that soil more moist where it occupies it. Certainly the fungus is creating structure to the soil. And we know that Plants grow very much better in soil with structure than just in dust or ash. This is like the orange fungus, but it's pink. It's spreading across the ground at the base of this tree, which has been burnt. So the, the bark has been burnt, has fallen off in a fine layer around the edge and this fungus has grown on the charcoal, which is an unusual place for fungus to grow. When a fire goes through a forest like this, it heats the soil up in the, the upper layers. So when it gets above about 60 degrees, it effectively sterilizes the soil. So all life, all active life is killed from the soil. But some mushrooms survive quite well because their spores survive and then they grow very quickly after the fire because there's no competition and forms a mat of mycelium which stops the soil eroding. Mycelium is the body of the fungus, similar to tree roots, only much, much, much finer. So the fungus potentially plays an extremely useful role in the rehabilitation of the forest after the fire. Ah, now that's what I've been looking for. This is called a stonemaker fungus, which comes up very quickly after the fires have finished. In fact, these are quite dry specimens. But talking to the local people here, they come up a few days after the fire. So the fire's almost still going by the time they come up. It's called a stonemaker fungus because it grows off what looks like a stone, which is actually a mass of mycelium, which is how it survives the fire. So here's another one, and it's in a spot that we may be able to dig up the stone. We sort of broke it in half. So this is the whole fungus as it would be underground. We broke it in half, unfortunately. But you can see all of that in my hand there is the mycelium mass. And the mycelium spreads out underground, brings back nutrients which are stored in this mass of mycelium here, waiting for the fire to happen, which then all that energy then produces the mushroom. There's so many different fungi and they can fill so many different ecological niches that this one manages to fill a niche that isn't there except when there's fire. 
How cool is that?